All right, everybody, get ready. Cause today we are diving deep into the world of successful self-storage businesses with this three-mile storage management guide. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, it is not your typical boring business stuff. Definitely not. It's really interesting how much self-storage has changed. Hmm. You know, it used to be just finding a field and throwing up some metal doors. Yay. This guide is like completely different. Totally. They're laser focused on what they call the three zones of excellence. And I got to say, it's a really cool and different way of looking at this whole business. Yeah. It's like they're giving you all the ingredients, Andy, showing you exactly how to put them all together. Exactly. And they start off strong with zone one. Marketing that matters. Right. Like, now I know what you're thinking. Marketing, tell me something I don't know. But here's where it gets juicy. They go deep into how today's customer thinks and what makes them tick. Yeah, it's not like the old days. You don't just put an ad in the newspaper and call it a day. Totally. And they make a really good point about trust, how important it is in the digital world. Absolutely. And the biggest thing people look to before even setting foot on your property, online reviews. I mean, think about it. When was the last time you booked a hotel or went to a restaurant without checking the reviews? Exactly. And they hit you with this stat. 85% of people trust online reviews just as much as a recommendation from someone they actually know. Wow. It really makes you think about the power of online reviews. For sure. But they don't just tell you, get reviews and leave it at that. Yeah. They tell you exactly how to get them. Yeah, they have a whole system. Yeah, they're all about timing. Oh, definitely. Timing is key. Like imagine someone just had a super smooth move-in experience. Right. They're feeling good, probably yeah. relieved. Yeah. That's when you get a strike while the iron's hot and ask for that review. Exactly. Catch them when they're happy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but here's where this three-mile thing really comes into play. What do you mean? It's not about getting any old review. It's about getting reviews from the right people, the people who are actually going to be your customers. <gasps> I see. Hence the three-mile philosophy. So it's about focusing your marketing efforts on your local area. Exactly. And they have some really smart ideas about how to do that. Like what? Well, one thing they suggest is building relationships with other businesses in your area. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right. So think like moving companies, real estate agents, even interior designers, mm -hmm. people who are already connected to your ideal customer. It's like creating a network of referrals. I exactly. It's all about becoming a familiar face in your community, both online and offline. Makes sense. They even talk about partnering with local charities or events. Oh, wow. So it's not just about being visible. It's about being a valuable part of the community. I like that. And that's what really sets this guide apart. They get that it's not just about shouting from the rooftops anymore. Right. It's about building trust and relationships. Absolutely. And that all starts with having a strong online presence. 100%. They go deep on what they call the digital ecosystem. The what? Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Oh, yeah. They're talking about Google, My Business, Sparefoot SEO, all those things that help people find you online. Right? It's like the online storefront. Exactly. Okay, so we've got the whole online marketing thing down, attracting customers with our awesome digital presence. But what happens when they actually get there? To our website or, you know, even to our actual door? That's where Zone 2 comes in Management Magic. And that's what this guide's all about, really getting down to the nuts and bolts of how to make everything run smoothly, like a well-oiled machine. Exactly. And one of the first things they talk about is this thing they call hybrid handling. Which, I'll admit, sounded a little strange to me at first. Yeah, I chuckled when I saw that, too. Yeah. Like some kind of management ninja move. Right. But it actually makes a lot of sense. It's all about finding that sweet spot between the traditional hands-on approach to management and using all the amazing technology that's out there. Because, let's be real, renting a storage unit, it can be kind of an odd experience. Like, here's the key to this big metal box. Good luck. Exactly. People appreciate that personal touch. Someone who can show them around, answer any questions, make them feel comfortable with the whole process. And it's not something you can always get online. For sure. But at the same time, who wants to be stuck doing everything manually in this day and age? Right. There's so much tech out there that can make things easier. Online rentals, automated payments, digital communication, all that stuff. It makes a huge difference. Mm. And these guys are not afraid to get specific with their tech recommendations. No, they definitely have their favorites. They're big fans of this software called Storage. Have you heard of it? I have, actually. It's supposed to be pretty comprehensive. Yeah. They say it can handle pretty much everything from dynamic pricing to tenant insurance. Oh, wow. 
That's impressive. And you know what I find really interesting? How they connect all this technology back to the idea of transparency. You mean like being open and honest with your customers? Well, that too. But they're also talking about giving owners total visibility into their business, like real-time access to financial data, occupancy rates, even customer reviews all in one place. So it's like having a bird's eye view of your entire operation. Exactly. They call it the open ledger concept. And honestly, I think it's brilliant. The more you know about your business, the better decisions you can make. Makes sense. So it's not just about working hard. It's about working smart. Exactly. And that's really the key takeaway from this whole management magic section. It's about using the right tools and strategies to free up your time and mental energy so you can focus on the big picture. Instead of being bogged down in the day-to-day -day stuff. Exactly. You want to be the CEO of your business, not just another employee. I like that. Mm -hmm. And speaking of CEOs, that brings us to the part where we talk about actually making some money. Ah, yes. The money zone. You ready for this? You know I am. Let's hear those revenue generating mm -hmm. secrets. All right, let's talk about the money zone. This is where the rubber meets the road. The part where we turn all of our hard work into profit. And I got to say, this section of the guide did not disappoint. No kidding. They really go all in on revenue optimization. Yeah, they're not messing around. And one of the most interesting things they talk about is this concept of dynamic pricing. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. It's like they want to throw the old way of doing things right out the window. Well, in a way, they do. Because think about it. Why would you charge the same price for a storage unit in the middle of July when everyone's moving as you would in, say, January when nobody's thinking about moving? That makes sense. I guess I never really thought about it like that. It's all about supply and demand. Right. Yeah. And in the self-storage world, that can change a lot throughout the year. So how does dynamic pricing work in practice? Well, it's all about being flexible. Instead mm -hmm. of having a fixed rate sheet, you adjust your prices based on all sorts of factors, like the time of year, local events, even the weather. Wow, so it's kind of like those airline tickets that seem to go up and down all the time. Exactly. It's the same principle. They even suggest paying attention to things like local holidays and festivals, anything that might drive demand for storage. That's pretty savvy. So no more dusty old rate sheets. Nope. They say that in today's market, you got to be willing to adapt and adjust your pricing on the fly. And that's where technology comes in again, right? Absolutely. The right software can automate a lot of this for you. So you're not constantly having to crunch numbers and update your website. <laughs> Working smarter, not harder. But it's not just about bringing in more revenue, right? They also talk about plugging any leaks in the system, places where you might be losing money without even realizing it. Oh, for sure. And one of the biggest culprits is late payments. You know, people forgetting to pay on time, sending checks in the mail. It's a headache. Oh, tell me about it. I used to spend hours every month chasing down late payments. Well, their solution is pretty simple. Automate everything. Automated payments. Exactly. Set it and forget it. Got Customers it. love the convenience, and it saves you a ton of time and hassle. Makes sense. And it probably helps build goodwill with your customers, too. Nobody likes getting hit with late fees. Exactly. And speaking of customer satisfaction, these guys really emphasize how important that is to your bottom line. Because happy customers are more likely to rent from you again. Exactly. And they're more likely to refer their friends and family, which is like free advertising. They even suggest giving incentives for referrals, like discounts or a free month's rent. It's a win-win. You get more business and your customers feel valued. But you know what I really appreciate about this guide? It's not all just pie-in-the-sky ideas. They actually give you a framework for putting all of this into action. Yeah, they call it the financial roadmap, right? Exactly. It's all about setting clear financial goals for your business, tracking your progress, and making adjustments along the way. Just like you'd use a roadmap to get where you're going. And that's what makes this guide so valuable. It's not just a bunch of random tips and tricks. It's a complete system for success. Totally. They're not just telling you what to do. They're showing you exactly how to do it. And they're so confident in their system that they even offer a free consultation to anyone who wants to learn more. Which is amazing. They're basically saying, we believe in this so much, we're willing to put our money where our mouth is. I love that. It really shows you how committed they are to helping people succeed in this business. Absolutely. And that's what I think sets this guide apart from all the rest. It's not just about making a quick buck. It's about building something sustainable, something that will last. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, there you have it, folks our deep dive into the world of three miles storage management. We've covered a lot of ground today from the importance of online reviews to the power of dynamic pricing. But if there's one thing I want you to take away from this, 
It's that success in this business is within your reach. Absolutely. It's not about luck or being in the right place at the right time. It's about having a solid plan and the right tools to execute it. And most importantly, it's about never giving up on your dreams. Pure here. Now go out there and make it happen. That's a wrap on this episode of The Deep Dive. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time for another deep dive into the world of business and beyond.